If the rising cost of electricity has you thinking about putting solar panels on your roof and you'd like to know more about the process, this video is for you. Hello everybody, I'm Sinue with DroneQuote and in this video we're going to talk about the scope of work required to install solar panels on a composite shingle roof, also known as an asphalt shingle roof. I'm incredibly excited about putting this together with Nexus, given their 44 years in business and what that means for clients who rely on long-standing solar warranties typically included with solar panel systems. First, let's talk about asphalt shingle roofs. This roofing material is installed by overlapping shingles that will provide protection against the natural elements. This roofing system is comparatively easy to install and can last anywhere from 15 to 30 years depending on where you live. It's also one of the least expensive roofing materials available, which all adds up to make asphalt shingle roofs a common roofing material. If your roof is already at its end of life or close to it, you might want to consider replacing it before you put on solar. When the installers arrive, it's usually in the early morning between seven and eight. Depending on the number of panels and the scope of work required to install your system, an installation team is usually three to four men. Each man plays a particular role in the process and you'll notice that as you watch your installation unfold. In this example, we will see that the panels will be going on a small and accessible roof. So the head count was only two, but your project may vary. On the ground work, we'll start with the electrical of the home, which involves opening up the main service panel, a sub panel, or both. This connects the solar panels on the roof to the equipment on the ground, and finally into the main service panel or the sub panel, which makes your electric meter spin backwards. On the roof, work will commence by marking the location of the rafters and the rest of the panel footprint. Once this is done, you install the panel's footings and the racking for the solar panels. There are simple ways to attach the footings, which hold up the racking and the panels. One of those simple ways includes a basic L bracket, but for greater longevity of your solar installation, you'll want a more comprehensive installation method. The Flashlock system by Unirac offers a cuffed system that goes over the penetration with a chamber filled with sealant during the installation process. A common point of failure is often the penetrations made into the roof, so this part matters to a whole lot of homeowners. After the footings are in place, the racking is installed onto those footings. This racking is rather straightforward so you want the installer to ensure that they cut off unsightly pieces that may stick out from underneath the panels. A quality installer will also care to properly manage wires and not use plastic zip ties since those will eventually break after several years and can lead to dangling wires underneath the panels. The equipment on the roof is connected to the ground equipment by wires ran through tubing called conduit. This is the case regardless of your roof material. Here, you can see the conduit is made of steel and that matters because some installers will use plastic conduit. And I'm not sure if plastic conduit exposed to 25 years of sunlight will make it that long. To bring the conduit to the solar panels, you can do a wrap around where the conduit wraps around the eave of the roof. If you care about aesthetics and workmanship, you will want to ensure that your installer of choice takes the approach that Nexus is taking here and bring the conduit through the eave and right onto the wall. Yes, it takes a little bit more work and you could save a minuscule amount of money by not doing this, but it just looks so much better when you do. Once you've brought the system connectivity off of the roof, the rest of the connectivity goes into the inverter and alternating current disconnect, also known as an AC disconnect, 
and any other components needed for the system or required by a jurisdiction. After installation, the system is tested for functionality and the worksite is cleaned up. So what else goes into a solar panel installation? Let me tell you, when you buy solar from a reputable installer, you get more than solar panels and their installation. You get things like steel conduit, Eve wraparounds, as I just showed you, and quality workmanship, among other things that you do care about. More importantly, if you select the right installer, you also get crews that care about their work and it reflects in their work. It's not uncommon to occasionally hear from prospects, well, this other company can do it less expensive and it's the exact same solar panels. Someone can always do it for less money, but unfortunately, the cost of a solar panel system or any contracting work for your home, for that matter, lends itself to the saying of, you get what you pay for. Besides the quality of workmanship, a good company also offers strong warranties. While the panels do have their own warranties, the installer's warranties will be worth their weight in gold if you have an issue with the roof or with the solar panel's performance. One of the reasons for my excitement in working with Nexus on this video goes beyond their reputation. Nexus has been around so long, it's not easy to find a comparable installer. How long, you might ask? 44 years. This means that in a 44 year period, Nexus has had countless opportunities to tarnish their reputation, not do right by their customers, and eventually go out of business like a whole lot of other solar companies. And yet, here they are with a strong brand and a stronger reputation. The method by which solar panels are installed is critical, but the company backing the workmanship and the warranties is even more important because that's where you'll turn to if there's an issue during the ownership of solar panels throughout their 25 year lifespan. Now comes the drone quote advantage, which offers unparalleled service and peace of mind. We literally go above and beyond to make sure the project goes smoothly. Besides quality control issues we catch from time to time, we are the stopgap in the event that something does happen. And even in 2022, we're still relying on fallible humans to do this work, construction work. And as good as our partners may be, things happen. Regardless of who installs your solar panels, whether yourself or even a drone quote partner, one element must always be accounted for and that's the human element. Drone quote consultants will answer your questions from the perspective of a fiduciary so you get the right information to make a buying decision so sound that Bang & Olufsen would be impressed. I'm sorry, I can't help myself sometimes. Whether or not your roof is made of asphalt shingles, uh, concrete tiles, or what have you, the Drone Quote Marketplace moves solar buying online and uses drone technology to really dial in those quotes. We partner with trusted companies that will provide you excellent workmanship and simplify the buying process. Should you want to know more, contact us at dronequote.net. At the most, we'll impress you. At the least, you'll get an honest approach from a company that has your best interests in mind. Now, if you enjoy puns, dad jokes, and straightforward content from DroneQuote, please consider leaving us a subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Hasta la vista, baby.